to change the names of two schools in Hampton. For the second year in a row, the local NAACP is calling for action. They say the school's reference to Confederate war heroes is racist. Jonathan Costin is here with us in the studio. Jonathan, what can you tell us? Well, I tell you, the people who attended the rally in Hampton believe there's a lot in the name. They feel a public school shouldn't be named after someone who is the president of the Confederacy. Slavery and hatred. Yes, that's right. Slavery, hatred, separation. And, and and everything that goes along with that with segregation. Hampton Branch NAACP President Gailey Canoyton is on a mission. She wants Jefferson Davis Middle School to be renamed. Canoyton says according to the Hampton School Board policy, Jefferson Davis is not fit to have a school to be named after him. Elementary and middle schools will be named in the honor of persons who have rendered outstanding service to mankind in their community, state, and or country. That's in black and white. And certainly, Jefferson Davis and Robert E. Lee does not fit this criteria. Steve Brown recalls when he attended Jefferson Davis, the school band would wear Confederate uniforms. I'll show you how you can be ignorant about your history. As youngsters, we didn't, young African-American youngsters, we did not know about the history of Jefferson Davis. Had we known it was steeped upon racism, bigotry, hatred, uh, intolerance, uh, I think our position would have been just a tad bit different than marching down Victoria Boulevard uh, whistling Dixie. State Senator Mamie Locke criticized revised history, and she also chimed in on why she believes the school shouldn't be named after Jefferson Davis. Not the history of those who committed treason against the United States of America. These people feel renaming the school is way overdue. 75% uh, of the student body here is uh, made up of students of color. Mm -hmm. And every day they walk into a school that's named after a Confederate hero. Well, the folks also mentioned the campus at Lee, named after Robert E. Lee, which is also in Hampton. They would like to see that facility renamed. Someone did mention that it is costly to rename public buildings, so they suggested starting a GoFundMe account to help rename the schools. Jonathan Costin, 13 News Now.